Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and it's been 12 years of Mile High Reefers. Technically, as of the recording date, I think I got like a week before I actually hit the 12 years that I launched my first video. But don't worry about that. Doesn't really matter. The reality is, 12 years ago, I had a 90-gallon aquarium sitting right here which is still sitting in my basement unused. But 12 years ago, I was enthralled by this hobby. I bought my 90 gallon. I had just come off of a massive failure with my 29 gallon. In fact, let's step back to that for a second. My 29 gallon aquarium is how I got started in reef keeping. And I kept that for six years with one clownfish in it everything else I put into it died because of a bad refractometer. I would do water changes, I'd do all kinds of stuff, and everything failed on it because of a bad refractometer. Well, my salinity was way too high, so the only thing that could survive was Nemo, who's still in this tank, who um, I got him in February of 2006, so near as makes no difference, that fish is 19 years old now. I mean, he had to be born before I bought him. He had to grow to a saleable size. So he hatched from an egg 19 years ago, which is pretty incredible. And I'm coming up on 19 years of owning him, which is pretty insane. You may say 19 years, that's a long time. There are clownfish that live much longer out there, which is why I'm focusing so much more on the health of my fish. And we'll get into more of that in a minute as to why I am, where I am, and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So 12 years ago, I got my 90 gallon. I was so enthusiastic about this hobby. Every coral was new to me. Every fish was new to me. I loved going to fish stores. Everything was just so new, so fun. I decided I wanted to document it with YouTube. So I started this YouTube channel, Mile High Reefers. And it grew and it grew and it grew. And now I'm at like 23,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. But honestly, I haven't done much with the channel in the last five years. Consequently, it hasn't grown much in the last five years. Yeah, go figure. You don't put time and energy into something. You don't get anything back. Yeah. So that's what happened there. But I put this 210 gallon tank in about 10 years ago. So the sump stuff downstairs is from the old 90 gallon, um, obviously heavily modified since then. And the tank upstairs is 10 years old. So we're 12 years on the YouTube channel, 12 years on parts of the system. Tank itself, 10 years old. Not a lot of continuously running. 10 year old tanks on YouTube. So after putting this tank in, I was off to the races. I was doing so good. I was great at keeping fish. I was great at keeping coral. My tank usually looked great. I put tons of time, tons of effort, tons of money into it. And I got a lot out of it, right? The tank grew great. The animals thrived. Everything worked as it was supposed to for so long. Obviously I had my hiccups. Corals died, fish died. But for the most part, I had a lot more success than I had failure. And during that time, the YouTube channel grew really well. I enjoyed the community. I love making, I, at least I did love making videos. We'll get into some more of that in a minute. But it works so good that I'm a bit of an OCD type person. Like once I get into something, I really attack it. And that's like all I can think about, all I can do. So I wanted to make this a profession. And the guys at Aquamedic Live, um, now Aquarium Supply Distribution, offered me a job working there where I sold coral wholesale for two years. It was really freaking cool. I loved the opportunity and I loved working with Chad in Orlando with Aquarium Supply Distribution. Now, um, ultimately I had to leave after two years with them. No fault of the guys at Aquarium Supply Distribution. I absolutely love them. They are fantastic. 
fantastic people. I still talk to them. I still see them. They're still my friends. I still message with them. I just don't work with them anymore. And it's not their fault. The issues were much deeper than mere business or money problems. It was deep-rooted family issues. And that all blew up. Like, as I'm sure if you follow this channel, you kind of have an idea, right? So some really bad things happened in my family. I went through a divorce, my mom died, and a whole bunch of other traumatic events have happened. Like my last five years, I felt like have been going from trauma in life to trauma in life. Now, one thing that did to me was that took a very negative toll on my own personal creativity. Like, I didn't have the urge to make videos. I didn't have the urge to do photography. I didn't have the urge to do videography. I didn't have the urge to do art. My creative juices ran dry. They're still weak. Like, it took me everything I could do to, like, get myself up in front of the camera. This is something I used to love to do. I'd look forward to it. Like, I'd be at work, and all I could think about was, oh, what am I doing for my next video? How am I going to get this shot? What's going to happen here? My brain doesn't work like that anymore. Unfortunately, I spent the last five, six years now going from trauma to trauma to trauma, and my brain is it's injured. It hurts. So I'm not the same person I was 12 years ago. In some ways, it's good. I'm a really good reef keeper if I would, you know, put the time, the effort, and the try hard in, but I don't. Part of the problem is, and here's where the thumbs down are going to come in, is I got into this hobby because I loved animals. I absolutely adore them. Ever since I was a little kid, I loved animals. I would want to learn everything I could about them. I loved dinosaurs. I loved elephants. As I got older, I would try to catch animals. I grew tadpoles up from little tadpoles to frogs and let them go at my grandma's house. You know, as I got older, I'd want to keep pets. I'd want to learn about animals. Like, I absolutely love and adore animals. And I still do to this day. And that's why I got into reef keeping. That's why I got into fish keeping. That's why I have a dog. I love animals. Now, that brought up ethical quandaries for me that I've had to work through personally over the years, and a lot of you aren't going to agree with this, and that's okay. So about the same time I was starting this YouTube channel, maybe even a little before, I went vegetarian. I went vegetarian for two reasons. First, health reasons. I was overweight, high blood pressure, drank way too much alcohol. I thought, you know, vegetarian would help with that. The other reason I did it is I love animals, right? I don't want to see cows slaughtered, you know, put on dairy farms and milk so I can have food. This is a horrible life that I don't believe any animal should have to go through. I know. Very unpopular opinion, especially on a reef aquarium channel. But that kind of leads into how everything else goes for me, right? So fast forward, I'm no longer working at Aquamedic because of family trauma. Um, my mom passes away due to cancer. That was hard. Um, and then there's been a bunch of other family issues that, you know, unfortunately just don't make sense to put on video, right? Like it'd be great to be fully open and honest. But what that did was it made me think really hard well, long and hard about life, the best way to live, the best way to be personally for me. Um, and health was an also a big part of this. Like, I was very unhealthy in a lot of the stuff I did. I had, un I had unhealthy relationships. Those are terrible for you. Um, I drank alcohol up until five years ago. 
I quit March of 2020, and I haven't had a drink since. That was a big step for me. So we're going on five years, not quite there yet, of at least alcohol sobriety. That was good. Um, same time I did that, I was really looking to make changes in my own personal life. So I went vegan. I cut out all animal products because it's the right thing to do for my health and it's the right thing to do for me personally since I love animals. I do not want animals tortured for my food. I know, unpopular opinion on a reef aquarium channel. And I know even the health side is going to be unpopular because you're going to eat me. I'm sure you can. But it didn't work for me. I was a big fat ass with high blood pressure. It didn't work for me. This is the way I found to fix my own health. And spiritually, this works way better for me because I no longer have the personal guilt that animals are being slaughtered for me to eat. So those have kind of led my, those ideas have led my thinking going forwards. And it kind of shows in my tank. Hmm. That was the important part, right? We're going to get back to the tank. It shows in my tank because I haven't bought a fish in over five years. I think it's closer to six. The last fish I remember buying are the sapphire damsels in this tank, and I bought them about six years ago when I was still doing wholesale. Everything else in here is older than that, and a lot of them are rescue fish. So what does somebody do when they buy animals, and then they realize in the process of buying animals, maybe what they're doing isn't the best thing for the animal itself. Now, I don't want to get into the whole ethical dilemma as to whether people should keep fish. I think that's probably your own decision to make. But for me, I decided that taking an animal out of its environment, shipping it across the world so that I could keep it and possibly kill it wasn't the right ethical decision for me to make. So I don't buy fish anymore. That doesn't mean I'm not going to keep fish going forwards, but it means I'm not going to spend my own money to do it. I will, I will take rescues, I will rehome a fish because I can take care of it, but I'm not going to take in an animal that was collected for me. Like, you say, well, this fish was ordered and somebody had to buy it. No, no, no. The way I did it was I would order an animal in. Like, it was as bad as it could possibly get, right? So I felt bad about that. Mm. Another not very a popular opinion on a reef keeping channel. Mm. Look at those thumbs down. I'm going to set a record with this video. Probably. Sorry about that, guys. You probably already signed up. Like, oh, I hate this guy. He's vegan and he's talking about how he loves animals and I hate the way he does it. Yeah, it's true. That's why I don't make a lot of videos these days, right? Like, the way I think about my animals, the way I think about my tank, the way my brain works these days, they're not popular opinions on a Reef Aquarium channel. Um, I've been offered jobs making videos for people. I haven't taken them. I've been offered aquarium store positions. I've been offered jobs in the industry. I haven't taken any of them. Um, this, I've really pushed back it into the hobby side of things. And a big part of that is the ethical side. Yes, because I want to do the right thing for animals. The whole reason I did this is because I love animals. The other thing is, is I'm trying to divorce the business side of my brain from the fun side of my brain, right? Because once I started doing this professionally, then I had to make money. Then it became stressful. Then I started doing things I didn't want to do for the strict fact that I had to do it because it was my job. And then I didn't like it anymore. And this is not 
me saying anything bad about Aquarium <laughs> Supply Distribution or Chad in Orlando. I love those guys. They were some of the best people I've ever worked with. That's not what I mean. It's very different than that. Those guys are fantastic. And they gave me a fantastic opportunity, which I wasn't able to make happen because of family trauma. Like, it was bad. Things are getting better. The trauma's hopefully settling down. It seems like every time I think I'm out of it, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm in Godfather 3, right? Just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in. That's how trauma's been in my family. Um, I've got, I've got some great family members, and I've also had some who have caused me a great deal of heartache and pain. Um, not pointing fingers is just the life that I have had to live for the last five years. But things seem to be getting better. I've been focusing very much on my own personal the way I do things, the way I handle my life, the way I handle my relationships with other people, trying to put out more positive energy than negative energy doesn't always work. <laughs> I could give you names of people who would disagree with how much I failed at that. <laughs> Usually girls. That's a joke. That was a joke, but um, yeah, you know, but it'd be nice to, to find that person that's right for me, but the reality is these days, what I'm looking for, needle in a haystack type stuff. So who knows, maybe I will find my special someone. But the tank is now my hobby. It's no longer a focus of what's going on, and it shows in the tank. There's a lot of aptasia. There's a lot of hair algae in there. There's a lot of cotton candy algae. And I haven't been putting the time into it. First, I don't have the passion for it. Second, like everything, you know, the family trauma struck again this year. I had nine months of just hell. So there wasn't the time, there wasn't the desire. And finally, I'm making another video because I believe the bad is over. I believe, well, not completely, there's still pieces of it that are ongoing. But for the most part, like, Things have settled down. Things are making sense. My path forward in life is making more sense. It's not just going from battle to battle to battle where I'm constantly mentally and creatively exhausted. So maybe I'll do more videos, but they're going to be different than the old videos because I'm not going to be chasing the latest, greatest fish. I might be rehoming a fish instead of chasing the great, the latest greatest. Tank's probably full. I mean, if I was to do anything coral-wise, it wouldn't be getting more. It'd be getting this thing cleaned up so I could actually sell some and get rid of it because this thing's overstocked. I need to make room for more growth. I know, as crazy as that sounds. But those are the goals, right? So, it's been... 12 years of Mile High Reefers, I've gone from a passionate hobbyist to a whack job hippie vegan who thinks that keeping fish is bad because it hurts the animal and only, or at least importing them hurts the animal because, you know, it's pretty damn stressful and hard on the animal and they don't always live through it. And I haven't been able to reconcile the fact that I did all of this in the beginning because I love animals. So I'm an animal lover trying to put his broken brain back together. So I guess until the next episode of Mile High Reapers, this is Humpty Dumpty signing off and hopefully some of the king's horses and some of the king's men can put my head back together again. <laughs>